Hi, Ollie here again from White Gates in Murfield. You join me in the centre of Murfield at the bottom of Knoll Road, a beautiful road actually with uh, lots of Victorian large imposing and handsome houses. Uh, this one is a three bedroom with a massive loft conversion as well actually up there. Uh, high ceilings, picture rails, um, exposed stone floor in the kitchen, just a real nice property, real full of full of charm uh, and period features. Uh, as I say, we've got a nice lounge with that bay window, look great with the Christmas tree in there. A uh, big dining kitchen with the stone floor. Uh, an extra uh, extension to the rear actually creates something of a utility, so handy on a modern level as well. Uh, back on that modern level, we've got uh, an ensuite in the master bedroom, which is a big king size room. The second bedroom I'm in right now, you could actually split this second bedroom into uh, a single and a double. As it stands, it's a decent sized double set up as a study. And also to this first floor, there's another single room, a proper single, uh, and the house bathroom uh, and then upstairs as I uh, as I say it's, it's got a massive pretty much the whole footprint of the house less a bit of Eve storage huge extra room two ve velux windows um, and uh, two radiators up there would make a great home office away from the rest of the house currently set up as uh, something of an occasional bedroom um, real real useful house uh, and then yeah downstairs uh, a, a big big cellar as well with good head height actually I'm six one and I can walk around in there fine so yeah lots going on we'll switch around and have a wander speak soon into the garden now, a lovely trellis and a nice deck, this gets the sun right into the afternoon actually, it's down there, it's uh, midday at the moment nearly, it would be there, so it tracks around and sets over that way, so a nice bright garden, which is basically all decking. Now the area I'm in now is, is, is shared, so you've got access and usage of this lovely lawn. So if you've got pets, dogs, uh, they can run out and do what they need to do out here quite happily. Um, so that is a, a bonus piece of garden if you like. Straight off the entrance hall, the first room we come into this beautiful living room, reception room, fantastic bay window there, fully double glazed, just overlooking the front garden, ample space for large furniture in here actually, high ceilings, beautiful ceiling rows, picture rails, a real treat and in fact uh, a bit of a hint of what's in the rest of the house. It's period features, high ceilings throughout. Into this kitchen now. I'll stop saying how big every room is, but yeah, another big one. Uh, we've got a beautiful original stone floor. So the period features continue. A nice beam over the, what was the chimney breast. Now perfect size for the uh, stove or range cooker. Shaker style units, nice little breakfast bar. Shaker style units to this side as well. Rear facing window, a door right there down into the cellar. Uh, room for a much bigger table than this one actually. You could get an eight seater in here without a problem. Uh, and then yeah, as I alluded to originally, it's, it has got the ModCon, so we've got a decent Worcester Bosch boiler and actually a completely separate uh, utility. So all your messy jobs can be out here, keeping the kitchen nice and clear. The master bedroom here, as you'd imagine, Another large room like they all are. Centrally to radiator, lovely high ceilings. Nice cornicing there. Traditional original four panel doors. Front facing window. Ample space like I say for a big king size bed. Uh, and yeah, the mod cons. You've got a, a proper en suite in here. So a, a towel radiator, pedestal, pedestal wash basin, um, rain effect shower and the loo. Across the entrance hall into the second bedroom. This could actually be split into two, you know. Uh, you've got a separate window there. Uh, you could put a door over there and have a single and a double here. As it is, it's a large double. Uh, alcove storage, central heated radiator, uh, and set up, as so many rooms are at the moment, as a, a really pleasant home office. Uh, the rear just overlooking the garden. And the third bedroom's a single. Take a look at the floor plan, actually. It's nice and long. 
space as you can see for a single bed a big wardrobe in here bigger than you probably have if you were to use it as a child's room so loads of extra space uh for the usual stuff tellies playstations etc and that's just overlooking the front and then completing this floor is a really traditional really well appointed bathroom metro style tiling to halfway up the wall up to the uh, rail there large pedestal wash basin victorian style shower uh, shower um radiator there uh, a lovely freestanding bath uh, claw foot there obviously you've got the uh the shower in the ensuite, so uh, yeah, a real nice, luxurious and relaxing bathroom, this one. Uh, plenty of natural light by the rear facing privacy glass window. Now one area that I've not noticed, well not, not noticed, not mentioned actually, but it needs uh, mentioning is this beautiful landing. You've got these natural light stained glass skylights there that allow natural light to come in uh, and flood the, uh, the landing radiator. And we've got another one at the other side. So it's a really pretty space, utilised actually as a, something as a sitting area, it's nice and wide. And from that first floor landing we're up, proper set of stairs, to this really spacious loft room. An abundance of natural light via the front and rear facing VLUX windows. Proper centrally heated up here as well, we've got a radiator flanking both sides. Actually, a lovely view out the back there, just overlooking Murfield. This could be purposed for an occasional room, as it is already, something of a dressing room. Uh, it'd make an awesome home office as well, away from the uh, normal living space downstairs, so you've got that degree of separation if you are working from home. Uh, or alternatively, a kid's room. They can play up here after Xbox and get out of the way with their teenage mates. Uh, so loads of loads of uses for this one. On a nice original alcove storage cupboard as well and actually storage into the eaves which is always handy okay so there we have it i think i've mentioned it all lovely property as i say um very much a town center um dwelling or residence uh, a, a neat back garden which actually opens up to that shared area which is lovely um but yeah it's all about being in the town center the cafes the restaurants the on onward transport links uh, the schools as well actually nearby Great use of space, a big house uh, in its own right, uh, and just pretty, uh, a nice property. If you want a viewing, give us a shout. Speak soon.